Let's be real. If there is a complaint box for musicians to file about their life, right in back of why they can't get signed or have someone do everything for them is one that's a bit more rational, which is why they need to make so much content to promote their music. I mean, after all, when you hear that Lil Nas X is making 150 high production TikToks in a single week to promote his debut album, it's not that hard to think about how long that would take and want to really end it all. And as I've told you before, by no means do you need to post that much and you can still get tons of fans. But in this video, what I want to talk to you about is how you can use the content you already are making and turn it into more content easily to save you time and keep your audience growing. Hi, I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to grow their fan base from zero to 10,000 fans. And this is Museformation. Okay, so as I've told you before, my release strategy that I see growing fan bases for musicians centers around making a single screen video, you know, a video with just the album cover and some writing, then a lyric video, then a music video, and then possibly an alternate version, remix, feature thing. And if this is new to you, the link on the screen now or in the description below will explain it. And seriously, it will help this be way more effective for you. So part of doing that promotion is that we need to take the big content you make, like your songs, music videos, and photo shoots, or even live streams, and recontextualize them to make content to share on your social media. So let's get into that. Come. Now, if you know me and are familiar with this channel and my style of teaching, you know very well that I'd be lying if I said I take no pleasure in explaining this concept the way I'm about to. Dear viewer, I present to you the human centipede of content. <laughs> The mucus cutaneous soul. Yeah, yeah. Listen, people, memes are teaching vessels, and this is the best one to explain what I'm talking about, and it's feeding time. Ingestion by A. Passing through B. Or the excretion <laughs> of C. So first, we're going to feed this creature all that longer content you make. Music videos, vlogs, alternate versions, live streams, behind-the-scenes videos, live videos, playthroughs, anything that's long in a big event. But we can even feed it photos from your photo shoot or anything striking that is good to tell a story around. And I hate to do this so soon, but if you don't already get that storytelling is the most important way to grow yourself on social media, definitely click the playlist on the screen now or in the description below. But anything that tells a story is a great place to start feeding. So we're gonna put this content out in its full incarnation in certain places, depending on best practices and the following will be where we put this content first. But I want you to think of this first body though as your main post, as the big content, like music videos or anything else you put a lot of production into. Here's some examples. A stream of a song we just wanna put on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and the other streaming services. Behind the scenes videos, playthroughs, covers, live videos, and music videos should go in their full form on YouTube. And fresh new photo shoots should go on your Instagram grid or be captioned in a Twitter post. You should link to any of that content on your social media in their full form when they come out and obviously promote it with a compelling message. But after we have linked those and told people they exist, in order to promote them, we now must go another layer down on the centipede. So in this layer, we're going to make the parts of this bigger content into smaller content, meaning we're gonna let the first body in the centipede be the big pieces, but they're gonna get cut down inside the body in order to make a little more feeding. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take the best 60 seconds of your lyric video or music video and drop it in your Instagram grid. You can do the same with TikTok and just put a caption on it and encourage people to listen to it, which you could also put it on Twitter and in your YouTube shorts or even your Instagram reels. Of course, you should do an emotional prompt when you do that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to click the link on the screen or in the description to watch my view on how to get more streams with an emotional appeal. And when it comes to still shots or a photo shoot, if you post that photo shoot on your grid, you can recontextualize it by doing all sorts of small things like running it through apps like Prequel and doing filtered versions or zooming in on the picture more and continue telling stories around that visual. I know some of you are wondering, since TikTok and Instagram allow three minute videos, the fact is while they allow that is content no one really engages with. The drop off of the potential audience being discouraged from watching your video by choosing to do a 75 second video compared to one under 60 is often over 70%.
It's just not appealing to people unless it's the most exceptional video ever if it's over a minute. So keeping it bite sized is important here and keep it concise even though you have a minute it can sometimes be more helpful to just put the main hook or climax of the song that really sells it. Plus we got a whole other body to feed of posts. <laughs> Okay, and if you're wondering how to chop this content down, yet again I recommend DaVinci Resolve, which I make all my videos in and content using, and it's amazing and most of all, free. I know some of you are also wondering about how you're going to make your wide aspect ratio music video work in TikTok, and there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that on YouTube. It really is super fast. I literally do it every day. Now, you may be saying, Jesse, what in the hell are you going to feed that final body? Do I even want to know? Well. I got great news for you, that shorter content and small scenes from your music video that you put all that money and effort into can now not only make one minute clips, but will feed the last body small scenes from it. These could be a sick dance you did for like 5 seconds, a car crash or some stunning visual that you made in the video, your drummer making a dumb face during his playthrough, a highlight from your live stream that was very funny. Let's remember on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, the more concise a video is while also giving fulfillment to the viewer, the more successful it is. So we want to find those 15 second or less moments in your videos and make content around it that pushes back and links to the longer form content to keep promoting it. So if there's small scenes you can meme or show off your content, and this could be playthroughs, behind the scenes snippets, your vlogs or whatever, you need to make those and chop them down so that you can keep reminding people that they should engage with the longer form content. Basically whenever you're done with your content, the next step is to think about all the thinner slices you can turn it into to keep reminding people to engage with your content and go deeper with their relationship to your music and keep building their relationship with you. And once you've done that, you will be like one of those guys who takes pride in using every part of the animal they hunted. which. Well, I don't know if you really want to be like those guys, but at least you got everything out of the content you spent all that time and money making. And most of all, you fed your new pet creature. <coughs> Alright, that's it. If you enjoyed this and if you have more questions or comments, I answer them all below. So please like, subscribe, and get notified. And if you're new here, what we discussed here is growing your fan base from zero to 10,000 fans. And there's a playlist on that on the screen now. Or you can watch one on how to grow on TikTok or Spotify. Click on one and keep learning. Thanks for watching.